Hello YouTube world, this is Johnny Mo coming to you at the end of a beautiful day. Uh, I think this is the nicest day we've had in about three weeks to be honest with you. Um, wanted to give you a little update before I start getting questions about my newest mower, um, the Skag Turf Tiger. It was a 29 uh, Kohler EFI. I like that engine. Um, I like the Turf Tiger. Um, I had to take it back and get my money back and it just was not able to cut the grass um, the kind of grass that I cut, um, it, it cut it clean. It, it left a great stripe. Uh, can't say enough, you know, good things about it, except for the deck. You know, I was under the impression from all the studying I had did, um, that it was supposed to be the best deck out there, the Velocity Plus. Uh, I hate to say this, guys, but, you know, it's probably for where I live, it, it wasn't good at all. I mean... I'd start getting into cutting about three inches off and boom, it just, you know, clumps everywhere. You know, people told me that, you know, you can cut in wet grass. You barely have to clean this deck. I, I found just the opposite. It cannot cut wet grass. Um, the build of the Skag is probably the heaviest built. It's probably the nicest striped. The engine options were good. Um... Ah, uh, man, I don't know. I, I just, I had to go back and get my, I feel bad about it. You know, the, the dealer was awesome. You know, he sells a lot of those mowers. He's a gold dealer. Um, just, it just, it ain't going to cut the grass that I need to cut inside Discharge. Um, feel bad about it, but that's the update on it. I had to take it back. It was the Turf Tiger. Uh, I did try out the Cheetah. The Cheetah was a little bit better, had a little bit more horsepower, but it still, it still couldn't, you know, side discharge what I needed it to do. I mean, you know, even at three inches or two and a half, you know, the high fertilized lawns. And, and you know, I want I want to explain something to you. We're cutting, there's there's a specific type of mix we cut here in the Northeast, uh, Western Pennsylvania. It's uh, Kentucky Blue mixed with fine fescue and bent grass. These, this mixture this time of year is just horrendous on mowers. Uh, there's not a lot of mowers that can actually cut that grass and, and leave it and spit it out the side pretty decently. But unfortunately, the Velocity Plus, no way it can handle this grass. I mean, literally, I'd be going along and then it would just dump the clump right clumps right beside the next line. And I just feel that paying over $11,000 for a mower, I felt you know, that I should get a better performance from Skag, you know, um, that's, that's, that's just the way it is, I, the dealer was awesome, I mean, you know, if he had another brand, I'd have probably bought one, um, he was great to, to, you know, give me my money back, and, you know, I, I gave him some money too, just for his time setting it up, and, and I did, I mean, we checked the RPMs, reset the deck up, re-leveled it, pitched in the back, pitched in the front, we tried everything that we could, and so my search continues for a good side discharging mower. Um, I think I've went through just about everything now, and, and I've probably narrowed it down to about three mowers that I'll, I'll have to live with. One is the X Mark, the Toro, and Snapper Pro slash Ferris. Um, I will say this: I don't believe that the Skag was twenty two hundred dollars better than my Snapper Pro. Uh, I, I hate to say that, but I, you know, using Snapper Pro for all these years, I probably put about 13 hours on the Skag, and it, it couldn't even double cut. I mean, you raise it up a half inch, it didn't even have enough suction to pick up the clumps. It would just pick up the clump and make smaller clumps. And that's not what I was, you know, was led to believe by forums, different forums, lawn site, and different ones, um, you know, people who had the the machine and you know I actually I made a rookie mistake this time I mean I've been in this business 19 years I actually talked to people um, who probably never owned anything else and had nothing else to compare it to and and that was a huge mistake on my part I just really wanted the new mower I mean I came out of winter with a pocket full of cash and just really wanted a new mower and felt that this one would be great to add from what, everything that I had heard um, but it just it just didn't cut the mustard. And, 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 you know, fortunately for me, I've used a lot of different mowers. I, you know, we started out with an X mark. I think, I, I believe we may have been the first around here to have a zero turn. 
If not, we were the first two. You know, when they came out, X Marks came out in the 96, 97 era, you know, we had one. We were using Walk Behinds, Toros, um, and then we went right to the zero turn. And it was a great mower. It was a 52-inch mower. It's still running today, as a matter of fact. Um, uh, right after that, uh, we got a, we had a Toro de dealer here in town. So I went I went with him. The Exmark dealer that was here, that was close, that we bought the mower off of, actually went out of business. So we just... We didn't end up, you know, the other Exmark dealer wasn't too happy that we had bought one there and then we're trying to get it fixed there. So it was kind of one of those things. And so we said, fine, we'll go with Toro. And I stayed with Toro for a long time, uh, right up until, you know, they switched the SFS deck, which is probably the worst deck that I've personally ever used, the Superflow system deck. Uh, good thing I had a bagger because it was worthless. And... You know, the Velocity Plus, to be honest, reminded me a lot of that FSS, that, that Superflow system deck, because it would throw clumps just right on to the next line, and, and it wouldn't double cut them up either. So, um, And then we went, uh, the Turbo Force came out, and we bought one of those, extremely happy with it until the Turbo Force, uh, until they went over to $11,000. And I, I just felt, at that time, that was a really big jump for me. Didn't feel it was worth it. We went right to Ferris. I, I really enjoyed Ferris's ride. Um, the Ferris, to me, you know, was a great piece of machinery. Um, when we we had four thousand seven hundred ninety hours on it, we got rid of that Ferris, and um, we worked around some of the stuff that was issues with it. Like it, it didn't have a good cutting quality deck at the time. They switched it up to an ICD deck. Right after that. Uh, I was getting ready to buy another Ferris, but Snapper Pro had came out, and they were they were about the same as the Ferris. They were just like two thousand dollars cheaper than a Ferris. And I'm like, you know what? I'll try one out. And I kind of liked the Snapper Pro. I thought it was a pretty good machine. We've owned one, two, three now. We've owned three of them. Uh, we put a pile hours on them, and you know, right now I might stick with the Snapper Pro. But you know, me, I, I just want something that can side discharge. I'm really tired of bagging. Uh, you know, guys, give me some advice, you know, tell me what you you like and dislike, but, you know, also tell me what you've used, because I have a lot of experience on these decks. In a northeast grass, it's just rough to deal with. I mean, when you when you thicken up a lawn with bent grass, I mean, it's going to hold a lot of moisture, and then you got Kentucky Blue in there and Fescue. Fescue's hard enough to cut by itself, but not alone, let alone putting Kentucky Blue and uh, bent grass in there. And you're trying to cut it off at three, between three inches, three and a half, three and three quarter. And the grass has grown high every week and it's over fertilized. It's got chlorophyll in it and it just spits out clumps. And it's just tough to deal with. The Xmark, uh, you can't cut in the morning with it. That deck just, uh, it just, it spits clumps all day long. The Toro Turbo Force is probably one of my favorite decks to use. And as I speak right now, I'm thinking the Toro, Toro Turbo Force is probably the best all-round cutting deck in the industry. You know, I have not used a Gravely, uh, and I have not used a Bobcat. Um, looking at the Bobcat website and looking at underneath the deck, I'm assuming it it's not going to be that good of a deck, only just because... Um, the way it's baffled. When you have that much baffling in there, it's you're gonna have you're gonna struggle cutting high grass and you're gonna struggle cutting um, wet grass. So to me, right there, that just lets me know. Uh, I I don't know if I'll buy a Gravely to try it out or not. Or, you know, set up a demo. We don't have a Gravely dealer that close to here. I've heard very good things about Gravely's quality of cut. Um, as far as Skag's quality of cut, I mean, it cut it cut level. I mean, I think it cuts better you know, first cut pass, you know, the grass being cut evenly, I think it cut better than the ICD deck um, on the Ferris and the Snapper Pro. Uh, I think it just can't side discharge. It, it, you know, it doesn't even have enough juice to throw two passes. It's like a pass and a half. You know, sometimes it would get over to that second pass and, you know, touch the, touch the wheel of the third, but you know, the, the Toro and the X mark will throw those three passes uh, pretty consistently. The Turbo, the the ICD deck will throw it over definitely to the uh, all to the third um, mower, you know, to the second, definitely into the second line, heading into the third tire of the third line. The X mark will throw it three passes 
completely and spread it out over the lawn. The Turbo Force will throw it about two and a half, two and a quarter. Uh, really wings that grass out there. So that's just some deck talk. Give you an update on the Skag. Um, we definitely tried everything we can. I like the mower. I like the engine. Uh, I just couldn't cut cut the mustard, and I just didn't feel spending over eleven grand on a mower that it was worth it. I've never spent more than ten grand on a mower, uh, just not me. And and this was the first mower I've ever done that with, and I, I'm just I've never done it. And I did it for the first time. I, I've made some huge mistakes. My the dealer I went to was too far away. The uh, um. I did not demo it because they were too far away, and I should have taken one, had Skag rep bring me one, and used it for a full day. Uh, so you know some real pretty big rookie mistakes in there, but when you got a pocket full of cash and you know you, you just want something new, and I really thought by reading, I mean I did a lot of studying on. I mean it took two months just to look at all the decks and on lawn site. If you looked at all the 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 reviews, Skag had the best review of all of them, then it was Xmark. Uh, I have a lot of experience with Xmark. Xmark rules the roost around here, hands down. No one's even close. Probably then be Toro, then Snapper Pro. Uh, Ferris is coming up pretty quickly. Um, so my mower choices are going to be brought Xmark Ultra Cut, uh, Toro, Toro Turbo Force. I'm so tired, I can't even speak. Um, and or the Ferris ICD deck, which I have a lot of experience with and I have baggers with. Uh, I don't think I'm going to go with another Snapper Pro this time. Uh, I don't know why. You know, I already have three. I don't know. I, I think uh, I'm going to try something new. You know, I definitely want to EFI. Um, but let me know what you guys, how many guys mowers that you guys have used. And I'll just tell you the truth if I like it or not. You know, I'm not one of these guys I'll... You know, I'm a Toro guy. I'm an Xmark guy. I'm a guy who cuts grass. If the, if the thing works well, I'll tell you. If it doesn't work well, I'll tell you that too. So ask me any questions you want. Leave me some comments. Tell me what you think about the mower that you're using. You know, Gravely's, you know, Bobcat. We don't have a Bobcat dealer near us. They're intriguing only because of the pricing factor. But outside of that, I, I don't, you know, that tight baffling on a Bobcat just lets me know it's, it's going to be a clumping nightmare. Um, you know, I've, I've used John Deere. I've actually demoed one for a day. I don't like them at all. I, it's, it's the same thing as the SFS. It was a seven iron deck and all it did in wet grass was just throw clumps. And, you know, the, you read so much that the seven iron and the skag can both cut wet grass. Well, I've cut wet grass with them and I'm telling you, all they did was clump. It was like clump city. And there was so much air volume underneath there that, they can't even, you take it up a half inch, it doesn't even pick all the grass up. Like, an X mark will throw clumps, but if you pick it up a half inch, it'll pick up those clumps and wing them. These decks, because they're so wide discharge, I believe they're losing a lot of vacuum in there, and it's not able to get up, get the clumps up. So, that's my time. I uh, just wanted to let you guys know what happened to the Skag. Uh, I wish that didn't happen. I, I, I almost bought the Cheetah, uh, you know, but I could have gave him another 500 bucks and took home the Cheetah. But the Velocity Pro deck is still a problem. Now, I will say this. If I had my choice to do it over again and I had to buy a Skag, it would be the 34-horse Kohler Skag Cheetah. It's faster. It's nicer. Uh, I don't know if it's better on heels, but I tell you what, I demoed it for... A couple hours, you know, when I had to take the Turf Tiger back, I had the Cheetah. And the Cheetah is a very impressive uh, mower. So if I had to go with this gag and it works good in your area, the Cheetah is the one that I would go with, definitely. All right, guys, you have a good one. Thanks for listening. Give me some comments. Let me know. Uh, maybe you can come with me and help me pick out my next mower. Not sure when I'm going to pick one up, but thanks, guys.